All right, YouTube. This is Remy. And we're here to uh, play some more Dwarf Fortress, but... And I'll get into more of this later. Uh, this is going to be a different campaign. And in fact, we're going to generate a whole new world. This is episode zero. Uh, this one is going to be longer than the rest. The rest, if I remember, are going to be uh, 20 minutes long. Uh, but I'm going to do at least for this first part, all in one session, one really long recording session, until I can't speak, or I get really, really tired, or my eyes bleed, or I die, which is also possible. Um, history, medium, sure, number of civilizations, sure, number of beasts, sure, savagery, yeah, um, I usually go with everywhere, but I haven't really... Let's just go with frequent. And go ahead and let that generate. Now, this is the part where I'm going to talk. Um, oh, you can see one of my changes. I added add uh, sound sense, which is this program right here, which is a nice little program. I do believe most, if not all, of the music in this thing uh, is royalty free, which means I can use it for YouTube. I believe. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, then uh, I apologize. And I think this is an adequate... I have it at negative 13 decibels. It's on the decibel scale, so negative is good. I mean, it's not like you can get negative sound. Can something be quieter than silent? Um, also, we're using uh, Dwarf Therapist, and we have this starter pack launcher as well, and OBS which is just my recording software I'm using. Um, and you can see all of my other lovely tagged things. And yes, I do keep my stuff all on the side here. I started it as a kid. You can see my background there. Desktop. It's a nice one. Um, this actually sounds a bit loud. And this actually sounds kind of like copyrighted music. Hmm. Uh, is there anything in... no? Alright. Currently playing. Well, um... What was I gonna say next? Oh yes, I do keep everything over here. I learned it as a young age that I could mess with that stuff. And so I decided to be cool. And now it actually bugs me when it's down below, even if I auto-hide it. So I like it on the left. Just how I am. So if it bugs you, get used to it. That's just... get over it. Uh, we're in year 109. I guess I can let it go while I still talk about the series. It's going to be... I... It's going to start off as just War Fortress, but it can really be any game that I just record for like a night for as long as I can, and then I'll put out the episodes in 20 minute or 30 minute increments uh, once or twice a day to keep the... And they'll be their own little isolated series, and they'll probably be shorter than most of my other series. But yeah. Plus, this allows me to go in and experiment and not really feel bad about having a whole entire fortress kill, uh, die on me. Um, what else, what else? We... is there anything else? No, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, so I guess we can go ahead and stop it at 137? 38? 138. Alright, uh, let's just use this world. Yeah, offload the units. Or, go ahead and accept, then offload the units. Um, I do not have, I don't even think it's an option, is it? Is DF hack in here? No. So I don't have the mouse utility stuff. Uh, but you can still see my mouse because I am recording my whole entire desktop. As I did in the last episode of Dwarf Fortress. Um, so, yeah. I know this series, I'm going to call it like a knight in... This would be a knight in Dwarf Fortress or a knight in a fortress kind of a thing. Uh... Which doesn't quite make sense if it spans over several nights, but you get the point. It's just me recording a huge session 
in one night of a game. Specifically right now, Dwarf Fortress. And so I was playing... Uh, oops, no, no, no. Start playing. Uh, yeah, this is Region 2. Uh, we're going to play Dwarf Fortress, obviously. Not going to go into adventure mode. Apparently the developer is focusing on the adventure mode, which I think is a mistake. Because Dwarf Fortress is most fun in the non-adventure mode, the fortress mode. And it's what makes Dwarf Fortress stand out from other roguelikes. I mean, it is what Dwarf Fortress is named after. I mean, the, the, the adventure thing is cool, and you can flesh that out all you want. I just don't think it should be the focus. Alright, and I think we're going to go two weeks into Granite, right? Is that the standard allotted time passage? Yes? Yes, okay. Um, and we're just going to do a find location kind of thing. Dimension, we can go, oh, I don't know, 6 by 6 maybe? Six, seven by seven. Let's go seven by seven. Uh, I don't care about any of that. Fluxstone layer, yes. Aquifer, no. Even though I don't think they have any aquifers. River, uh, I would like a river, yes. Because river's good for fishing. Uh, shallow metals. Uh, we can leave shallow metals off, but I do want deep metals. And clay and soil can just do whatever. Uh, do search. And this will take a little bit. I probably won't let it get through the whole entire world. Although it came up with a whole lot of green right off the bat there. Wow. Maybe I should have made it... Ah! Uh... Windows has detected that your performance is slow. It's because we're only using one processor. My computer is designed as a gaming computer. I mean, that's how I built it, right? Uh, but Dwarf Fortress was made back when computers only had one processor, and the code still works designed off of one processor. So, you know, however you want to... manage things in Dwarf Fortress. The only real way to I get it, yes. Go away. You're gonna don't come back. Uh -huh. It's cause I'm recording at the same time too. But the only real way to make Dwarf Fortress go faster is to I get it. Stop. What do you want? Oh. It's wanting me to change the color scheme so that you can't see through this. I don't care. Uh, yeah, th anyway. <laughs> Re-back to the topic at hand. The only way to make Dwarf Fortress go faster is to overclock the processor that, uh, and this thing is just going to keep coming up, that is being used by Dwarf Fortress. So. Um, and perhaps I should have... Okay, you know what? Uh... I don't want to change it to basic. And it see, it just stops randomly. Okay, you know what? We probably have enough locations. We can find a good one. Right? Okay. Oh, no. We went to uh, browse results. So, now uh, where's our uh, marker? Where are we? There we are. Uh, don't want to be in any of that. Wow, six by, or seven by seven is actually pretty big. Cool. I'm okay with this. Ooh, we have a rocky area that has everything. I probably should have noted that we need vegetation trees, especially. Um... Okay, so let's see if we can't... We have heavily forested, and, okay. I kind of like having, like, the edge of a rocky area. 
Oh, we'll go through that in a second. And this definitely has... Oh, look, there's some nines there. Which I believe we're over. Yes, we're over some of the nines. We got some fours, some sixes. Damn. Alright, so this is going to be a very jagged area. Uh, we only have board, uh, dwarves and goblins in the area. Board of Wheeling, which is where you're down there. Uh, rhyming Wall. Moist Sling. Ships of Striking. Uh, lenses of Fealty. 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 Hot Staff. That is a sexual innuendo if I've ever heard one. And Abyssal Lances. I think we'll go with Abyssal Lances. Just because it's badass. And we have Clay, Some Soil, Shallow Metals, Deep Metals, Fluxstone Layer. Untamed Wilds. Other vegetation is thick, heavily forested, temperature hot, which might be bad. Uh, we might want to go south more. Damn it, but I found a cool area. Alright, um... So the brook is... Wait. Glacial? Is that glacial? Vulgarty? Glacial vulgarty. Alright, well, well, we won't... That was way too many wees. We won't embark there. Uh, but we will... Kind of try... This is just warm, which is nice. Ooh, what is this? There's probably no trees there. Let's see about here. Also probably no trees, and we're in warm... Still no trees. Okay. Um, what about here? Wilderness. Trees are sparse here. Uh, let's look some south some more. Let's see. We're on the edge of where we looked. Let's go over here. Now we're getting into the cold areas, which isn't good. I don't want cold areas. Let's go back up here and see if we can't find one. I know it's warm here, but... Uh, trees none. Oh, I guess that's desert, isn't it, or something? Still no trees. There's some trees here. And I suppose, Stinky Springs, that's very dwarven. Uh, deep Metals and Fluxstone Layer, there's nothing really. Uh, let's see what's the, is it F1 and F2 for the, yeah, view biomes. So we have a biome there. Um, we have a little soil here, F3, we have another one here. Uh, man, I don't think there's going to be anything as good as the one... Oh, snap, hold on. Might have spoke too soon, because that one right there looks awesome. Uh, let's see the biomes. Really? Alright, uh, this one's not bad, it's warm. Wilderness. Elevation, we're not as elevated. Uh, but we still have some medium cliffs in our area. Alright, let's embark here. Uh, yeah. Oops. Enter, and let's uh, prepare for the journey carefully. This is the zero episode, so I can take as much time as I want. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we probably want at least one, oops, one miner. So let's give you two there, two there, and we'll want a woodcutter carpenter. 
and we'll want a mason, engraver, building designer kind of person. Um, stone crafter, yeah. And we'll want a, whoops, cook. Which is where? Here we go. Brewer cook. We'll give you two in each. Did I? Oh yeah, we're here. And we'll assign more jobs to you, but I kind of want to give you, uh, where's the gatherer? Let's give you some gatherer as well. And you can be a fisherman. Oops. And I don't know what else at the moment. Okay, these are all, yeah. Hmm. Uh, we'll give you farming as well. How about that? Where is farming? I would think it would be around here. Butcher, tanner, milker. Yeah, where's, um... Am I just missing it? Some of these things don't really need to have points in because they'll just learn on the job and it's not all too important. But some things you really do want points in. And that just brings us back to the top. Is there no skills in farming? I thought there were. Or does it get divided up amongst the... Grower. That's probably it. So we'll add some points to Grower. And then we'll give you... Uh, we'll make you a Hunter. So we'll put a point in Trapping. Uh, and Ambushing. And... Animal Training and Animal Caretaker. And then we'll give you... Is there an archer? Armor? Is there a bow user or something? Archer is right there. Give you that. And I think there's like another Marks Dwarf thing, isn't there? Or a Marksman? Miscellaneous object user. That's nice. Uh, da, 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 da. No, these are all leader qualities. So I guess there isn't a Mark's Dwarf thing. Crossbowman. Give you a point in that. Okay, and then we'll go back up to this guy. Um, no, 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 no. Who's our... Uh, Woodcutter. That's the one we want. We want you to have Axemen. Be an Axe Dwarf. Do you... Well, actually, hold on. Let's go back up here. You are the Mason. Okay. So these guys... Are also going to have some skill with the pick. Um, items. Copper pick times two... Copper Battle Axe, times two, all right. Iron Anvil, good. Uh, Plump Helmet Spawn, Pigtail Seeds, sure. Cave Wheat, Sweet Pod Seeds, we do not want any of those. So we can get rid of that. Rock Nuts, Dimple Cup Spawn, Cave Lobster, Helmets, Pigtail Fiber Thread, Dog Leather Quivers, that's good, three of those, okay. Uh, wood bucket, splint we don't need, crutches we don't need, wheelbarrow we can make. Alright, so we want a dog. And a dog. 
male and female. We want a cat and a cat, male and female. And I'm going to go for... Let's go for hen and rooster. And actually, we can get more than one hen, can't we? Yeah, let's get two. Uh, duck, do we want duck? Actually, duck is probably... Well, no, maybe not. I don't know which it would consider bigger. I think turkey's the best fowl, isn't it? Or maybe it's goose. I can't remember. I'm gonna go with turkey, though. Turkey hen. Turkey gobbler. And we won't get any big animals. Isn't there, like, uh, rabbits or something? Yeah, there we go. Let's get some rabbits. Rabbit buck. Doe rabbit. We'll get two of those, and we'll get two of those. And, all right, let's add... What do we want to add? We have an anvil, an iron anvil, which is nice. We got seeds of everything. Uh, I guess let's go add some more stuff. Let's see, who has a lot of points? I guess you can have... Negotiator, a little bit, Persuader, actually we're going to give you two in Persuader, um, Organizer, and then we can give him some things, uh, Counselor, sure. I don't know. Organizer, appraiser. And then we'll give the hunter some of these. Probably want to give him some discipline. Right? And maybe some observer. And concentration. And who are you again? You were... Oh, I probably should have given him some teacher, too. Uh, you're a fisher grower. So, we'll give you some... Actually, hold on. Let's go back to him real quick. Let's take away one of your... Uh, concentration. And add teacher. I still have 102 points. Why do I have so many points? Let's get a big animal, then. Let's get like a male and female, I don't know, we only have 102, so we can probably only get like a pig or a lamb. Let's get lamb. I don't know which is better, or goats. Goats might be good, because they have horns when you slaughter them. So billy goat and nanny goat. Oops, wrong button. And we have 50 more points, which means we can get... I don't know what else can we get. We can probably get some war dogs right off the bat if we wanted to. Let's just check through real quick. Yeah, let's get some war dogs then. Uh, maybe a war dog and a hunting dog. War dog. And. Okay, so we have one of those war dogs and we have one of these. Oh, we can't get one. Darn. All right. Um, then let's grab, let's see, we have 19 points left. Let's just grab a few. Let's grab a whole bunch of turkey hens. Oh, you can get peacocks? We're getting some of those then, for sure, because that's awesome. And we're down to one point. I don't think you can get anything for one point, can you? Not animals, at least. All right. I think that's good. Let's name the fortress. Uh, saber geese. Frill oiled. Crafted holes. That's an apt name, I think, for our fortress. Crafted holes. It also could be misconstrued, which is awesome for a dwarf place, I think. And name the group. 
Point Lens of Feeding. Merchant of Battles. Glowing Rooms. Merchant of Radiance. Uh, Girder of Passages. Armors of Craft. Uh, hatchets of Nature. It sounds like an elf place. Or an anti-elf place, maybe. Hatchets. Anyway. Uh, Lanterns of Crushing. Sounds like a vague Green Lantern reference. Letter of Pleats. Canyons of Echoing. Those two do go together. It's not like just two random words like some of these are. Uh, Boot of Pride. Mortal Iron. Letter of Twinkling. Rocks of Wheeling. Pale Doors. Uh, uncertain Whip. Insightful Picks. It's also an apt term for a starting group. Trust Irons. Ring of Mobs. Mountain of Snarls. Ordered Lens. Silver of Seas. Attic of Drink. Uh, whip of Feet. Blue Saber. Uh, feed Grinder. Fed Grinder. Molten Gear. Molten Gear is awesome. Sack of Yawns. First Whip. Fondled. T <laughs> okay. Uh, Arrow of Tubes. Auburn Labor. Gear of Age. Merchant of Princess. Or Prices, maybe. I didn't read that. Uh, clear Avalanche. Occult Mechanism. Occult Mechanism. Uh, that just sounds like some kind of, I don't know, anime episode name. Uh, Greater Banner. Palace of Dimpling. Dyes of Paper. Hazy Fortress. Eh. Guild of Polish. Cavernous Gates. Emerald Artifact. That's kind of cool. Uh, Blockade of Hoods. Ceiling of Climates. Fierce Furnaces. That's actually a pretty apt name as well. Solitary Constructs. Bodices of Tongues. I'm not going to comment. Uh, humorous Mine. Rampart of Harvesting. Eh. Curled Tower. Board of Glee. Sometimes I get a really good one, like right off the bat. Honorable. Uh, vestible. Or Vestige. I can't. I didn't read it in time. Or thought I read it and then realized it wasn't the word I said. Submerged Ores. Uh, entrancing Crypts. Climatic Sword. Humanoid Stockade. Or Humid Stockade, sorry. Humid Stockade. Rhythmic Wires. Dented Helm. Uh, perplexing Mirrors. Nourishing Abbey. Handle of Inches. Sounds again like an odd euphemism. Immortal Arrow. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Immortal Arrow. Furnaces of Sacrifice. Or Furnace of Sacrifices. Put the wrong plural. Or the wrong word. Uh, in... Oh, Incinerated Tombs. Good Armory. Deep Rope. Ship of Dreaming. Harry Theater. Lances of Whirling. Occult Roughness. Crystal of Flame. Blockaded Dagger. Uh, Copper Sword. Blanketed Gem. Infinite Inks. Wall of Bravery. Merchant Ropes. Quakes, great dive, letter of honesty, light keys, snarling shield, perched work, most tomes, lancer of influence. Aren't we coming from like the, uh, yeah. Okay, we're coming from like something lance, right? So I think that one's the best one to go with. We passed, we, we passed, we passed some better ones, but we'll go with that one. Uh, and then we'll embark 
Yes, I am ready. It's only one point. Um, and as such, next episode will be episode one. This is episode zero, the preparation episode. Um, and we will be ready to dive into Dwarf Fortress, so I'll see you guys then.